Shiku Moirori's daughter, Erika Moirori, and her friend Shinisa Gose have been rescued after being abducted for a harrowing eight days by a taxi driver. The rescue took place on Sunday evening when they were found in a modest one-room house located in Mangu, within the Gatundu North constituency. Following the rescue, the police apprehended two suspects, Timothy Karaguing Anga, 34, and Samuel Kipkarui, 33, at the Ngoigwa area in Thika. According to a police report, Erica and Jerry's phone was discovered wrapped in foil paper during a swift search. After being interviewed, the suspects led the detectives to the area of Mangu Gatakuyu in Gatundu North, where they had rented a single room and held the victims captive. Both girls appeared visibly weakened and shaken, having endured their ordeal for eight days. Throughout this period, the kidnappers had allegedly provided them with sustenance in the form of mandazis, and water. The kidnappers had demanded a ransom of 250,000 shillings from the parents of Erica and Shanice. The abduction took place in the early hours of Sunday, June 4, 2023, as confirmed by a Facebook post from the distressed media personality, Shiku Moirori. In her post, she appealed for prayers, hoping that the abductors would not harm the two friends. She acknowledged the power of prayers in overcoming challenges and requested that her daughter and Shanice be included in the prayers. Shiko also urged her followers to pray for the perpetrators, that their souls may find redemption. Erica, 26 years old and an alumna of the University of Nottingham, is the founder of the Lanai Foundation. Moirori expressed her unwavering determination to secure her daughter's safe return, vowing not to eat until Erica was back home. She had faith that with the collective prayers of well-wishers, her daughter would be reunited with her unscathed. Shiku acknowledged the limits of her control over the situation and the uncertainties surrounding Erika's condition, location, and fate, emphasizing the importance of relying on God's grace. The abduction occurred on Raptor Road in Westlands, underscoring the alarming prevalence of such incidents even in seemingly secure areas. The rescue of Erika Moirori and Shanice Gose serves as a reminder of the resilience of law enforcement efforts and the significance of community support during times of distress. To get more news leave a like and comment below this video. Also don't forget to subscribe to the Kenyan News Channel.